On the first day, we will also start with some very basic and initial hypothesis. So what is a hypothesis? It's more or less a causal relationship between what we are doing and the outcome of that. Yeah? And it helps us to move away from this gut feeling only, so we are doing this because we feel it should be done, to a more testable framework, where we say, okay, we are doing a specific action and we are expecting a specific outcome. So what is important for hypothesis is that there is this causal relationship, that it is testable, and that also that I have an assumption about that test. Yeah? So as an example, if we are considering certain really important product features, then we need to know exactly what they are and what the effect, what the effect could be that they cause with the customer segment. Yeah? So we need to know, okay, what is the feature and will it, for instance, lead to a higher price that we can charge? Will it lead to a higher perceived quality in the customer? And what could the outcome of that be? Yeah? So we'll start with some very basic hypotheses, very likely related to the initial problem or also to the very generic value we want to generate. And we must include this causal relationship. So if we're doing something, if we're going into the direction, if we're including this and that feature, this and that aspect, it will lead to this and that outcome. So no need to have very specific hypotheses on the first day, but we start to think in terms of hypothesis and this will become even more important over the next couple of days.